The Promise of the Rainbow. Have you ever noticed how some songs begin with a question that never really gets answered? Dionne Warwick asked, Do you know the way to San Jose? Chris Christopherson raised the question, Why me, Lord? And Elvis Presley wanted to know, Are you lonesome tonight? Another famous song begins by wondering, Why are there so many songs about rainbows? No matter what we're doing, no matter how old we are, no matter how many times we've seen one before, there's something about a rainbow that stops us in our tracks. Hey, look, we'll say to anyone who happens to be around, a rainbow. And then together we'll pause and look on in wonder and awe. The great British poet William Wordsworth devoted one of his most famous poems to describing the mysterious sense of joy that rainbows give us and states his hope that he will never lose this childlike feeling of delight. He writes, my heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So it was when my life began, so it is now I'm a man, so let it be when I grow old or let me die. Wordsworth is saying that if you ever reach a point where the sight of a rainbow no longer moves you, well, in one sense, you might as well be dead because something special in you has died. The awe, appreciation, and enchantment that's essential to being human. One of the most famous songs about rainbows was featured in The Wizard of Oz, where Judy Garland, who plays Dorothy, sings, Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. And here we find a key to why rainbows are so captivating and why they go straight to our hearts. They point to something beyond. There's just something about rainbows that makes us look up even during a downpour and causes us to ponder what's on the other side, somewhere over the rainbow. The cynics among us will say that long ago, science provided an explanation for the brilliant arc of colors that stretches across the sky on the edge of a storm. Scientists tell us this thing we call a rainbow is just ordinary light being diffused by water droplets into the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet components that make it up. That's all. All completely natural. Nothing special or ordinary here. Science is full of onlyisms, simplistic claims that seek to turn the miraculous into the mundane. Human beings are only clever monkeys. Beauty and love are only combinations of chemicals in our brains. And of course, a rainbow is just a product of sunlight and raindrops seen from a certain angle. But if this is true, if this is all that rainbows are, how do we explain the mystical hold that they have on us? A better account for the rainbow's origins and for why they continue to captivate us can be found in Genesis. The Bible records how God became angry due to the wickedness of man, the creature he had ordained to govern his creation. So God commissioned Noah, the one person who had remained righteous, to build an ark so he and his family might be saved from God's punishment, which came in the form of a great flood that reached to the ends of the earth. When the waters finally receded, God made a promise that he would never again destroy the world in this way. And to serve as a reminder of his promise, God hung a majestic rainbow in the sky. Genesis records this scene of God's promise to Noah and to all mankind to come, including all of us who are alive today. And then God said, this is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I've set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant, and the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. A covenant means that a relationship now exists between two or more parties. In this case, between God and man and every living thing. And that is the true meaning of the rainbow. So the next time you're traveling down the highway, camping on a mountaintop, or just looking out your kitchen window, and you happen to see a rainbow, remember that it's a reminder of the covenant God made with us, and see it for what it really is, a brush that God uses to paint the sky, a manifestation of his glory, and a symbol of beauty and hope.